It's time for the children's message, so if you'd like to get the children to come and gather as we celebrate this uh, Easter morning. Behind me, I have a stained glass pitcher here at East Lutheran Church, and it's a pitcher of the empty tomb. We have to remember on Good Friday, Jesus died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, and they put Jesus in a tomb very similar to this. But on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead. And so when the women went to the tomb, they found the tomb empty. Very similar to this. The stone was already rolled away, and the tomb is empty. Why? Because he's alive. He's risen. Many people are a little sad today because they can't go to church. Like you may not be able to hang out with your friends today because of the virus. And so right now, the pews here at church are completely empty. But guess what? The tomb of Jesus was also completely empty. But this tomb being empty is what causes us joy. Why? Because we know that Jesus died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, and he rose from the dead. He defeated sin, death, and the devil. This day of Easter is the victory. That's why, if you notice, there's this nice flag there. I don't know if you can pick it up, but that's actually a very dark red. It's a red cross on a white background, otherwise called like a pennant. Why? Because that's the symbol of the Christian victory. The angels didn't put it there. The artists did. Uh, when the first day when the women went to the tomb, there was no flag of victory there. They had to learn, as Jesus would teach them after he rose from the dead, of why this had to happen. But the artist put it there to remind us that even though we can't always do what we want, we can't hang with our friends right now, today is the day of Easter, and we celebrate Jesus rising from the dead because it is our victory. So this day we rejoice. We're happy that Jesus rose from the dead so that we can be with him in heaven above. Thank you for watching.